I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. This is the Billionaire Brown experience. Let's go. What was the meaning behind this? People eat junk food without batting an eye, which you do, which I do, which y'all do. You do. You know, do no research and a half of the stuff, the, 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 the nutrient facts that they put on the fast food stuff is false. They just lying, right? So people eat junk food without batting an eye, but offer them something healthy and they become researchers. Mm, you ain't never lie. They Absolutely. all of a sudden, <laughs> they, they now on the Dr. Oz show. So what do you think of, like, what's the true meaning behind that? Um, because the very time that I post this on my page and I offer it, I have millions of inbox. I'm saying millions, but seriously, I have hundreds of inboxes um, that says, "Is it natural? Will it interview?" Now, get this: I understand if you have a health condition and you want to know, will this interfere with my right. high blood pressure pill or my diabetic medication? That's so valid. You're allergic or something. Or you're allergic, absolutely. Right. Okay. So then I go okay. in and I say, look, this is all natural herbal, persimmon <laughs> leaves, holy thistle, malvo leaves, marshmallow, blessed thistle, papaya, mirror, chamomile, ginger, things that you have in your kitchen cabinet already. But they want to know sometimes well how does ginger work seriously like you got to go to your doctor you got to pray and and, and and turn around five times to know if you want something that could possibly help you i mean like i had um just had a testimonial uh uh two days ago um, another nurse because i'm i'm passionate about helping nurses because i've been a nurse for over half my life I'm 45 and I've been a nurse for 24 years, right? So I'm passionate about helping nurses because of a simple reason. I work as a travel nurse in over about 40 something hospitals. And every day, if I poll the nurses, the average nurse, seven out of 10 nurses have a second job. Okay. So I'm passionate about it's, this is a hunt, helping a hundred, uh, uh, helping a thousand families. Well, I'm passionate about helping a thousand nurses give that second job back to the economy. I'm really passionate about that. But however, um, so I had this nurse who got started on the product, one particular product, and it helped her diabetes. It helped her diabetic level, which is the A1C level. Some of the viewers and listeners might know exactly what I'm talking about, especially if you suffer with diabetes. That is a 90 day picture that the doctor could capture in one lab test that will tell him whether you were good or not. Uh huh. The doctor know whether you had something that you shouldn't have because your blood level would show that overall picture, right? Well, this lady level went from 11 for from an 11 to a seven point something resulting in her doctor cutting her insulin in half. So anybody who knows insulin, you know, you don't even have to be a diabetic to know that people with diabetes take insulin most of the time when their pancreas does not secrete. Um, so this lady got her insulin cut in half, which cut her copay for the medication down by $276. That's a month too, right? That is a month. Okay. You're muted out. You just muted. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I was trying to tell my mom to take her phone off speaker. I didn't want it to come through with what we what we're saying. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Uh, so, oh yeah, that that was a month, right? Because right. being a diabetic, that's expensive. Yes. My mother is a diabetic um, the same way she just told me that she paid uh, 200 and some change like yesterday to get her insulin, 200 and some change. That gave her three months though with her, you know, with her insurance, but still a 200 and something dollar copay, even every 90 days for a person who was on a fixed income, that hurts. Big time. Now, do you know anything about, can you teach us anything about diabetes and or insulin? Uh, absolutely. Um, 
matter of fact, it, it was two products that all I just I know about it mm-hmm. is that I think you get it from a lot of sugar. That's a myth. That, that that's a myth. That's a myth. All right, um, so clear me up, and I know it comes hereditary, like in your uh, hereditary or something like that too. But teach me yeah. about diabetic yeah. and insulin and all that good stuff. Well, what happens is with your pancreas, um, if it secretes some um, insulin, then you could usually do the oral, which is by mouth. You could take pills by mouth that can help to control your sugar level. Um, so when you take the oral hypoglycemics, there's a possible chance that you could get off of that because what could happen is like, you know, what happened with this, this young lady that I'm speaking of, she was able to control her blood sugar levels. So there wasn't the spikes. Okay. Cause when you get the spike and your pancreas is when or originally, if there's a spike, your pancreas are for men you who is not diabetic, our pancreas will kick in and secrete insulin to take care of that spike in that sugar level. But for diabetics who doesn't, their their pancreas doesn't secrete. Um, some people who take insulin, their pancreas might not secrete at all. So hence the reason that they have to take this injection several times a day. My mom, on the other hand, is to the level that she has an insulin pump that is pump, pumping insulin to her 24 7 she just has to give her monitor her her insulin pump she has to give it credit for whatever it is that she's consuming on a daily basis so if she does cheat and have a piece of pie she can put in that amount of carbohydrates that is going to help the pump know to give her more coverage to keep her um insulin to keep her sugar level within range um, because it's very dangerous if your sugar levels are extremely high or if they're extremely low. Um, I lost a friend who actually, his blood sugar w- um, went down to 28 in his sleep. A normal range for diabetes, for bl- your blood sugar rather, whether you're diabetic or not, a normal range is 70 to 110. So that's where you want to be at all times. Now for a diabetic, my mom, for instance, I'm using her because I know her story so so well. Um, she might hang out around 150 to 200. That might feel normal to her. She don't have the symptoms of, you know, when, when hers go low, sometimes she can't even like function. When I say can't function, she knows that something is wrong, but she don't know what is wrong. She might get up and go to the bathroom or she might sit up on the side of the bed and not be able to move. She knows that she needs to get up and go to the restroom, but she can't physically make that move. That is how severe it is. And we've been just blessed and fortunate. She's been blessed and fortunate that God has really woke her up every single time to the point that she could reach on her bedside table and grab some peppermint to put in her mouth or some glucose tablets to put in her mouth because her sugar is that low to that point. Um, Then also, sometimes when you feel thirsty, uh, you feel hungry, you feel cotton mouth, um, your blood sugar may be high. Uh, So thirst, uh, increased urination, those are things that you might consider checking with your doctor to see if that is something that could be you know that you could be faced with as far as diabetes is concerned if you uh wake up and you in a sweat your your blood sugar could be high or low if you wake up and you like excessively thirsty usually that is going to be a sign that your blood sugar is higher so i i would just say i would just recommend everyone no matter whether it's diabetes no matter whether it's hypertension or no matter if you are like i was back in september did not even realize that i had conditions that were creeping up do your annual physical every single year and men are the worst <laughs> so being that wrong you need to tell your friends right I need to tell myself. You just what? you just made me feel bad because you know I haven't had a physical. And you don't laugh at me, please. I haven't had a physical since I needed it for like school. Oh no, 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 no! You need to. And why do we need a physical? Why? Okay, 
because you need a baseline. Number one, you need to know where you are. So, like, for me, I always knew because I've gone into Walmart or Walgreens and stuck my arm in the machine. And I know that my blood pressure is 110 over 70, 110 over 80. Never been higher. Right. So you just kind of need a baseline. You need a baseline so that you can know where you are and then you can notice any changes in that. And, you know, it's not like sometimes it's like what you bring, what you think about, you bring about. It's not that you just need to be in the know. It's just important that you know where you are. But what is the so, physical, what does it give, like, what can it tell me that is, could it tell me if I have, like, a problem? Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. I don't know nothing about a physical, the fact that you just said we need to get one every year, it's like, I didn't even know when I was a kid, and all I knew is I had to get one and give it to the nurse. Well, trust me. Miss Lorraine, Miss Lorraine, Brown, Brown, Walker, she got you. <laughs> That's <laughs> about to her. I love her. I need to know what is what is a physical. What is it? So basically, what the physical is going to do? They're going to draw some preliminary blood work, like basic blood work, right? Okay. It's going to be like a complete blood count. That's going to tell you if you're anemic or if you have something going on there. Then they're going to do a chemistry level. That's going to check your potassium, your um, magnesium, your chloride, your phosphorus. You know, it's going to do some basics, right? It's going to check your cholesterol more than anything because cholesterol, high cholesterol starts you to have the high blood pressure, the cardiovascular diseases. So you need to know those things moving forward so that you can even shift some things that you're doing now while you still 29 or 30. <laughs> 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 so when you get to my age 40, 45, you don't have to worry about walking out of the doctor with 10 pills. Like I was literally on 10 pills and I'm no longer on any pills. My prescriptions, I still have them there as a reminder. They are dated for March of 2016. That's the last prescription refill that I had on any prescription drugs. But again, you want to prevent things because a lot of these things that we have, like I'm saying, when you detox and cleanse your gut, um, like over 90% of diseases that are started in your body starts in your gut. So even when you detox, you, I mean, you know, like you did one of those detoxes that may have, you know, been like, okay, I got to stay in the bathroom. I can't go home. I can't leave home for three days. <laughs> but with this, it's going to be so gentle that you're not going to even have to worry about that. But it's going to cleanse those things out of your system that could be gently, slowly creeping up to cause you problems in the future. So it's more about prevention. Uh, prevention is worth, they say, an uh, ounce of cure. And it's really true because once you get started on the medicine, all the side effects from the medicine, that's what takes a lot of people out. It's not even the, the disease. It's not the diabetes. It's everything that comes <laughs> it's with the it. side effects. It's the side effects. Like, for <laughs> instance, when you become a diabetic, um, when you become a diabetic, you get neuropathy where you can't even feel. You get pain and burning and tingling in your feet, in your hands. Um, when you become diabetic, you get uh, poor kidney function. So now your kidney is not excreting the urine and purifying your body and purifying your blood as it should. Then you get you get the high blood pressure to go along with that. So the next thing you know, you're losing your sight. You're losing um, the touch, the sensation. You're losing kidney function which could result on um, you needing a, a, a kidney transplant or even needing kidney dialysis. You know, so everything is kind of linked. So get your physical, and I'm going to check on you. Oh, hey, all right. <laughs> and, and, the marker. So the guys, everybody. guys, you know what? Guys, let's get one in 2018, and let's do it for Coach Lakeisha. Yes! <laughs> let's, let's do it. I, you, you got me a little bit excited. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to say when. But I'm going to get one in 2018. Yes. I will get one in 2018. I mean, not especially women, but especially women. No, us guys need to get in there because we don't go to the doctor unless something is broken or bleeding. And we we taping stuff up. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the reason I say that for women, I wanted to encourage your your women listeners and viewers um, in the line of mammograms. Because sometimes we as women... We, we, we're, we're there and we, we 
taking a shower and we're washing and then you're like, oh, that feels kind of 